like a, a gift from us to you. Hey, you cannot travel, but we're going to take you to another area, another part of the world. And you're going to learn about food, about culture, about music, about the history of Jehovah's Witnesses, which is what most of the friends like to enjoy. So the tour tonight is going to be a little different, but I promise you it's going to be refreshing. It's going to be upbuilding. And you may learn a thing or two about what some people call the DR or Dominican Friends Republic. like to enjoy it. All so right. the tour tonight, here we go. So let me get started. Let me share my screen. Yeah. Close it. I'm going to share my screen so that you can see the information that we're going to be sharing. So here we go. Hello, my name is Stalin Acosta. I'm going to be your tour guide for the next 30 to 45 minutes. My wife and I have the privilege of taking a small group of uh, 25 or 30 people uh, to the Dominican Republic. And through this video, we would like to extend an invitation to all of you who would like to visit an interesting island very close to the United States, about three hours from New York, three hours uh, from Miami, I, I think less than three hours from Miami and other parts of the country. Obviously, this trip is only for Jehovah's Witnesses. So we have a, a, a high standard to... Um, that we must qualify in order to go. Uh, but if you are unable to go, this video is for you so that you can uh, learn and benefit from the information that we're gonna be sharing tonight. The trip is gonna be during what some people call Thanksgiving week. It's gonna be between November 25th and December the 2nd. And we're going to go to a place called Punta Cana of Cape Cana which is a, a beautiful part of the Dominican Republic. Right now, all of the single room, single occupancy room have been filled uh, because the trip is really cheap. So the only thing we have is double occupancy. So if you find a roommate or if you want a roommate, please let us know and we will uh, find a match uh, for you. Right now, the price is $13.50 for a double and I think it's twelve fifty for a triple, uh, if someone wants to select a triple. And we can it could be uh, a parents right with their kids, and things related to that. So all of you are welcome. So welcome to the Dominican Republic. The area that we're going to be visiting is again Cape Cana, or in Spanish, Punta Cana, and it's one of the Caribbean's region's longest white sand coastline with a total of 30 miles. Yes, in the United States, you have clear water, but it's not as long and as uh, extended as this one. This area is very famous. Almost every important person have a house uh, here. And let me give you a little history of the Dominican Republic. Please watch the following video. Right? There's the island. It's one of the only islands in the world where you have two countries sharing the same uh, place. The area underlined, that is the Dominican Republic, and the country next to it, that's the country of Haiti. We are part of the Caribbean. <clears throat> we are between Puerto Rico and Cuba. And let me zoom out. <clears throat> Punta Cana is right on the eastmost area of the Dominican Republic, very close uh, to Puerto Rico. You can actually see Puerto Rico from Punta Cana. Let me show you another map. And this is the area where Bávaro, Punta Cana is. And that area, it is known for its uh, beaches. And now... My Global Tours invites you to escape and live a unique dreamlike experience in the warm and paradisiacal Dominican Republic. 
Come and join us and enjoy its relaxing turquoise waters, delicious food, and tropical music. All of that, all inclusive in the five star Ibero Star Bavaro Suites in Punta Cana. We promise you this trip will be fun, it will be relaxing, but most of all, affordable to everyone. We will learn about the history of this beautiful island, but most importantly, we will live the history of our brotherhood. For more information, dial 203-533-2576 or go to our website. There you go. So now you know where you can get my books, where you can get more information. So a little history, so that to put things in perspective, Dominican Republic was one of the first island that Christopher Columbus encountered when he came to the New World. Remember, Christopher Columbus was looking for India. That's why when he arrived at Hispaniola, which is the name of the entire island, when he saw the native, he called them Indio or Indians because he thought that he has reached India. He landed in the Dominican Republic in the year 1492. And the colony of Santo Domingo became the site of the first permanent European settlement in the Americas. The Dominican Republic has the first university, the first hospital, a lot of the first because Spain, the country who visited the Dominican Republic, used that as the triangle to actually visit all the parts of the world and to actually return to Europe. As you probably remember, uh, Christopher Columbus uh, believed that he was a messenger, believed that he had a divine calling. So not only was he looking for gold and spices, but he also wanted to Christianize all the areas and the lands that he visited. That's why when you visited the Dominican Republic, you will notice that the country is very religious and he has the Bible in very high regard. That's why a lot of Negrators uh, moved to the Dominican Republic to enjoy the ministry. As I stated before, the country is divided into two sides. One speaks Spanish and the other one speaks French or a derivative of French, which is called Creole. And you probably have heard of French, uh, Haitian, French Creole congregation in different parts of the United States. It is worth noting that the Dominican Republic has the highest peak in the Caribbean, with the Pico Duarte being the highest mountain in the whole Caribbean. As you can imagine, the flora and the fauna of the Dominican Republic is very diversified. It's one jewel in the Caribbean because of its variety. I mentioned that since its creation, Catholics uh, forced or implemented the Catholic religion on the island. That's why when you see the flag, and that's the reason why I'm putting the flag here, the flag has a Bible right in the center of it. The shield of the Dominican Republic has a Bible and a, you can see a cross. So it, there is a very religious country. Uh, if you go house over house and you say, hey, I wanna talk to you about the Bible, it is very likely that people will stop what they're doing, they will sit on the floor and listen to what you have to say. This happens a lot on the areas away from the city, because all the cities are the same. The country is very beautiful, not because I'm from there, but because it has a variety of different weather, different terrain. It's just simply, simply very nice. And that's one of the things that you will enjoy on this trip. Since everything is included, 
the transportation once you get to the island and the different things that we're going to do, there's very little out of pocket that you have to be concerned. We have selected one of the best hotels on the island for you to enjoy. As you can imagine, any country from the Caribbean will have Caribbean fruit, Car Caribbean related uh, dishes, especially being surrounded by water. And since it was colonized by the Spaniard, it's very likely that our cuisine also will have some Spanish food. So you will really, really enjoy the cuisine. And because we're so close to Puerto Rico and so close to the United States, you can see things that are prepared and cooked here in the United States. I hope this video does not make you hungry. Uh, what do you do? Let me go back. Look at that. All you can eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And there are also um, some special activities that we will have on the hotel that we can do as a group. And because we're there, we can uh, have the daily text in the morning as we eat breakfast with a nice uh, cup of coffee. We can have lunch if you um, eat lunch. Some people don't eat lunch. And we can have dinner together. But you also, you can do things on your own. But of course, this is not only about just not doing anything. We're also going to have a good time. Take a look at this. Merengue is the national <clears throat> genre of the country. They have different, <clears throat> excuse me, they have different genre in the country, but merengue is the most internationally known. And I'm pretty sure we're going to dance some merengue once we're there. We're going to have a good time, I promise you. So how this is going to go? Everyone is going to fly from your own location. We're not going to meet at the at your airport. You're going to meet at the Punta Cana airport. So everybody's flying from the different uh, your different countries. My wife and I, we will be there at the airport waiting for you. We're going to have a sign. And everybody will know that we're Jehovah's Witnesses because we're going to treat you uh, like a family. So Bielka and I will be there starting on the 24th of November, making sure that everything is set. So on the 25th, which is a Monday, we'll be waiting for you at the airport and we will transport you or we will accompany you from the airport, which is Punta Cana. And I can give you the three letter code so that you can plan your flight. And you're going to go to Ibero. Uh, star Barbaro Suites. And we have selected uh, a couple of rooms where all of us are going to be like neighbors. We're going to live like in that community a uh, feeling that we saw in the Jesus movie. We're going to be uh, nearby. And it's a friendly and safe place. We welcome you if you want to travel with your kids. That's totally uh, acceptable. Uh, most of the activities um, will be done with them. So feel free to bring your kids. On day one, we're just going to be traveling from the airport to the hotel. Make sure that you guys make it safe. Uh, Punta Cana is a very safe area of the Dominican Republic. And on day two, we're going to do nothing. We're going to sit at the beach, and we're just going to enjoy creation. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have uh, different activities. But for the most part, we're going to relax because that's what this trip is all about. Yes, we're going to play Bible games. We're going to sing. We're going to cover uh, the material uh, for the meetings. But for the most part, we're going to be relaxed. On day three, we're going to give you a list of different excursions. This is like a, like a cruise. Some people go on an excursion, or some people stay and just relax. We will do 
whatever you guys want us to do. If some people stay, that's fine. If others want to go with us to different um, uh, excursion, we will accompany you so that you don't feel that you are by yourself on the island, okay? Uh, feel free to, to raise your hand if you have any questions about something that I'm talking about and you feel like, hey, Stalin, can you clarify that? So just want to let you know that, okay? Okay, so is it only sun, sand, and water? No, there's also an, a spiritual aspect of the trip. If I were to ask you, if I were to ask you, how many Jehovah's Witnesses are in Dominican Republic? What would you put on the chat? What would you put on the chat? And in order for you to know this, you will actually have to open the uh, yearly report, and that's where you will see how many Jehovah's Witnesses. Anyone can take a guess? Is it 30,000, 35,000, or 40,000? What, what is your guess? Unless you can find the report. A person uh, says 35,000. Anyone want to go higher? Anyone wants to go higher than 35,000? 40,000. Can you go can you go lower than 40,000? Between 40,000 and 35,000. Please put it on the chat. It's between 35 and 40. 37. Wow. It's between 37 and 40. <laughs> there you go. 38,792. Oh, there you go. 38,800. That's very good. Very good. Very good. So to learn more about our history, I welcome you, friends. If you're going to come on this trip, even if you don't come on this trip, I welcome you to uh, read the 2015 yearbook of Jehovah's Witness. They dedicated the entire yearbook to the Dominican Republic. It's a fascinating read. You're going to enjoy it very much. And by the time you get there, you will really will know a lot about the history of my country. Another thing that we're planning to do is we're going to visit the area where Christopher Columbus used to live. You're going to see the first uh, church that was built by the Spaniards, the first university. But the best part is that we're going to visit our brothers and sisters. We're going to visit the branch. They have a museum. It's not as big as Patterson or Walkill or Warwick, but it has enough for you to learn about the history of the country. We're going to have lunch together with some guests, some Bethelites that are going to join us. We're simply are going to have a good time. Here's a picture of the outside of the branch where we're going to visit on the 28th. That's where we're going to visit the capital. Punta Cana is about three hours from the city, and that's the only day where we're going to go that far. On the 30th, which is a Saturday, you have the option of attending a meeting in person or you can attend the meeting in via Zoom. I see somebody raising their hand. Uh, Shirley? Shirley? That was for the um, guessing of the thing. I forgot to put it down. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm, no. I'm fine. No, not a problem. Not a problem. I thought you had a question. So yes, friends, for the most part, out of seven days, five days, we're going to be chilling, doing excursion. In two days, we're going to use one to visit the capital, to visit the branch. For example, this is where Christopher Columbus used to live. Uh, Marcia. Oops, she raised her hand. Uh, Sylvia. Hi, Stalin. Hello. Is the meeting 
in English or Spanish? Well, my wife and I, we are bilingual. Nosotros hablamos español and we also uh, speak English. So it's going to be bilingual. But the, the language of the country, it's Spanish. Right. So the meeting. The ah, in -person the meeting, meeting, the meeting, the meeting. Okay, okay, okay. In Dominican Republic, believe it or not, they have English speaking congregation, especially near Punta Cana, where you have such a high influx of tourists. Of course, they also have Spanish congregation. And so you have a choice to pick from. Okay, thank you. Not a problem. Yeah. And at the end of the trip, we will take you to the airport and that's where we will sing Kumbaya. All right, so I'm gonna stop the slideshow. I'm gonna stop it. And I'm going to show you the itinerary in more detail so that in case you have any questions. So far, it's everything. Okay, Ella. Yeah, um, now the 1350, does that include an airfare or is not? No, we, we, we do not include airfare because we don't know where people are traveling from. Uh -huh. so it, it will be better if you get your own airfare and just meet us at the island. Uh -huh. If you need help, right? Because some people say, Stalin, I, 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 I need help purchasing my airfare, we have a sister that that's what she does for a living and she could assist you uh, okay. with your airfare. Or if you want to stay longer, if you want to rent a car, some people do different things on the trip. Because yeah, I've been there before um, a few years ago. I went there to help with the English and a sister was going to, uh, she was in um, the capital. Uh, um, San Santo Domingo. Domingo. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, she was going to a seminar. So oh. I asked her if I could go with her. Yeah. So she said, yeah, we took the bus and went on to Samana. So when I got there, the sister house we were staying with, she spoke uh, Spanish. So everybody there spoke Spanish. And so um, I felt kind of out of place because I didn't know. So I would sit outside on the balcony. Uh, and no, then no, no. they would come out and say, uh-uh, the only way you're going to learn it, be around us and you start hearing familiar words and you know what we're talking about. And so there, um, so I did finally um got to the point where I could give a presentation and um in Spanish and nice. I didn't know they would tell the person um that I'm learning and they were like, ah, oh, but they would smile because they're happy when you finally learn their language. Wow. But yeah, all our meetings was in Spanish and everything. <laughs> but I enjoyed I was there for over a month. Oh my goodness, yeah. you are you are I, I'm so happy. Yeah, I so, so happy for you. So happy. Yeah, people are extremely thankful when you go and uh bring the Bible to them. Right. Yeah. So excited. And, and not cutting you off, but what I really like too was that they do um uh what you call it a business territory every single day. Yeah. And here we only do it at special times, but there they did it every day. And what I like too, um, you talk to the store owner. If a customer come in, he just don't stop talking to you, go to help them. Next thing you know, the customers, they join in into the conversation and everything. So I really did like that, how friendly they really was. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad you had a good time. Yeah, I did. This make this presentation a lot better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But the difference this time is that you're going to be surrounded by people who speak English. Right. We're going to be your representative. Uh -huh. And when we go when we go preaching, we're gonna make the arrangement with the local congregation so that you can have a protected good time. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ella. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your experience. Uh, no Shane. problem. Hello. Um, I had a question. You said the single occupancy rooms were all taken. I really, really want my mom to go. She's on. She's Nadine. Um, I've been before also, and 
had a wonderful time. I tried to get her to move down there. I wanted to move down there as well. Mm -hmm. anyway, um, the double occupancy. So if we did get double occupancy, but needed to stay alone for whatever reason, would we need to pay 2700 to be in a room by ourselves? Or can we do that? Or how does that work? <clears throat> right now, the only rooms that we have are double occupancy and triple occupancy. So if it's going to be you and your mom, you will pay $13.50 per person. And that will cover the seven days once you get to the island. Um, I won't be going because I'm going on the cruise December ah. 4th. Okay. So she, I want her to go on this cruise, uh, um, this uh, trip to Dominican okay. Republic. Um, so it it would just be her, and I want her to go with friends, of course. Um, you know that's okay. the best way to travel. So would she pay twenty seven hundred? Um, what we can do because we don't have any more singles because they're they're all sold out. What we can do is, if it's up to you, it's up to you. If you find a roommate for her. She will pay thirteen fifty. If you want us to find a, find her a roommate, because single sisters are always looking for people to find a roommate, we can match her up with someone else, and that way the price is only thirteen fifty. All right. Yes. Good. All right. Thank you so much. No, 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 no. We, 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 we we're not trying to break the bank. <laughs> we want people to truly, truly, truly enjoy their trip does yeah. anybody have any questions everything is as clear as mud so what we're gonna do is um okay uh tim and deborah davis yes um stalin hello, hello. Um, just wanted to um share a little something with you um, I think I think you'll be very happy. <laughs> um, uh, during the pandemic, I think it was during the pandemic, um, uh, our circuit overseer invited us, invited me and my husband because we were uh, we're regular pioneers, and he invited us to encouraged us to join um, for a moment a Dominican Republic congregation. Really on, on Zoom mm -hmm. and. What? Yes, and um, we we just were just excited, and we were able to join into two congregations um, with the brothers. Uh, with the they got we got in contact with the actual brother and sister that is an uh, elder and his wife, and they were serving over there. They weren't from Dominican Republic, but they um, how do you say it? I, excuse how I express everything, but they were serving uh, in those congregations. Now, the first congregation was, um, I, I hope I'm saying it right, La Roche congregation? Yep. Okay, and the second one was Castle Bruce. Okay. Okay, and so we were able to join in. The only problem there was, because you know we live in California, yep. was the connection, the connection wasn't really great and mm -hmm. We were so, uh, you know, like so disappointed because we would get on, log in to the meeting and we had to get up really early <laughs> and then just to be knocked off, off yeah. and on. And yeah. so we were able to comment. We were able to make a comment because mm -hmm. the circuit officer here encouraged us to go ahead and comment and because they love it. They love it. And so we were, we had the wonderful privilege of doing that. Uh, oh. For just a moment, and then uh, it got too bad. The connections got too bad, where it would just bump us off, and we just got so discouraged. And so I just said, "Okay, forget it." But we just had a wonderful, wonderful time meeting the friends. We stayed, tried to stay after, and meet a couple of the friends. And it was a very, very small, you know. So we got to meet some of the friends there, and then uh, contacted were, you know, in contact with the two uh, sets of brothers brother and sister that was the elder and all that. And they met us, they met us over the phone uh, and we contacted them and said that our circuit overseer encouraged us. So here we are. And they just thought that yeah. was so cool. <laughs> that was such a great advice. I, 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 I had a good time during the pandemic, even though, you know, the world was hurting. 
Uh, mm -hmm. I was giving talks all over the world, meeting people from different places. And that's when we started doing this virtual tour thing uh, mm -hmm. where we were uh, celebrating the, the virtual tours uh -huh. and meeting people around the world. But that was a great advice. Yes, there are certain, yeah. certain areas of the Dominican Republic where the internet is not that strong. It's like uh, certain areas here in the U.S. where the internet is almost non-existent. Punta Cana, because it's a touristy place, you're going to have super fast internet, <clears throat> very good signal, and, and companies like T-Mobile, AT&T, uh, Verizon, they have a plan, an international plan that if you pay $10 a day, you can actually uh, use all the internet that you can, and you also get free Wi-Fi at the hotel. Well, thank you for sharing that experience. I really, really enjoyed it. It made, it made me happy. Welcome. Welcome. I would like I to talk to that traveling overseer. I wish we were going with you. <laughs> yes, I would have yes. loved to, I would have loved to um, you know, if you were going, I don't know if you're going all in that area or not, but just mm -hmm. to, you know, meet the friends. Cause yeah, it was just, yeah. we, I mean, we were crying in the whole shaboodle. It was just so wow. Exciting. wow. To meet them. And because uh, so my family is a uh, uh, Creole. My, oh, my yeah. They're, mm -hmm. they're, uh, Louisiana, Louisiana Creole. You know, French. So French. So it's yeah. my bloodline. So I would love to go, but we just can't go. I just, yeah. So we got to wait to the new world. But, <laughs> but you all, you friends, have a you great, have time. A great you time. You can have a blast. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. Sounds yeah. fun. I can't, I can't hardly wait to meet you in the new world. I'll tell you, we're going to have a ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to record uh, everything we're doing. Oh, yeah. Um, great. To, present, to present this tour, uh, but the tour when we get back with all the oh, people. I can hardly wait. Oh, yeah, Oh, and all the things that we 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 learn. Are we still on your uh, mailing list? I don't know. Yes. Do you have? Are we still on there? I didn't know if yes. we were. Not. Okay, because yes, I I know you've been busy doing in persons, and we have. I just happened to stumble across you. I thought you weren't doing them anymore because you have been doing in persons <laughs> for a while. Yeah, yeah. Most of the friends now they're they're traveling to see Bethel, so mm -hmm. we wanted to set that up. <clears throat> but some friends wrote to me and said, "Hey." Are you coming doing virtual tours? And I say yes, yes, yes. We 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 could, we could. Well, we missed you. We missed yeah, you. Yeah, we missed you. <laughs> oh, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Okay. Oh, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> Great. All right. All right. Yay. Well, have a good, uh, you know, yeah. your trip when you have it. Have a good yes. Trip. It's in November. We still have a way to go, friends. I'm gonna have now that I thank you for bringing that up. I'm gonna have Bible-based tours every Sunday and every Monday. So next Monday, come in. We're going to have okay. a, a, a virtual tour uh, on Sunday. We're going to have um, a virtual okay. tour. And I'm I'm presenting the tours that the friends are asking. And I'm also working on two new tours. Oh, I need to show you that. Thank you. I just remember that I needed to show you something. <laughs> oh. But in the meantime, let's ask Sister Jones from Arizona to tell us her coming. Yeah. Hello, friends. Um, my my question to you, uh, my brother, is what is the deadline to uh, for the double occupancy um, as far as um, uh, booking the the trip? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, <clears throat> let me see. It's a hundred and ninety days before the departure date. So, uh, one hundred and twenty days. That means. Oh, November, October. I guess we were pun that already, huh? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> like in the next couple of, couple of days. Yeah, let me see what is 190 days. That's 120 days. Is no, that's four. Is that four months? No, three. 120. Yeah, that's yeah, four months. months. So that would have been last month, maybe. Let me let me check. So it's October, <clears throat> October, September, August. No, that can be right. So no, and this is this 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 can be right because uh, we are still selling tickets. Okay. <clears throat> I need to I need to ask my wife. We have Pioneer School uh, food tomorrow, 
So my wife is picking all the souvenirs that we're doing for the friends. That's why she's not here. Uh, beginning 60 days before the tour day. Okay. Uh, let, let me get back to you. Okay. 60 days before the tour day, the traveler and the client will be 100%, 50%, 20%. Let me ask her when she get back because we're still selling tickets. People are still buying um, the, the package. The only thing, dear friends, the only thing we are in August. You have September and October to pay. So you will not have, you know, a layaway plan as if you had a year in advance. So whoever mm -hmm. purchased now must have all the money to pay uh, the full amount. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm just going to request. Um, <laughs> yeah. Take, take, take uh, down my number. Yeah. My okay. number is the is the meeting ID is 914-469-8548. Oh, okay. Wife, she left. She says, tell the friends that we still have time. And I, that's what I'm saying. But uh, what is the last day? I guess 15 days before the trip. Okay. <clears throat> the deposit is only $299. Mm -hmm. So that saves your uh, spot so that um, you can be in the team, in the group. And, and, and brother, I know you had the, the, the dates because you scrolled. Um, so, the, okay. So it's November 25th. So that means we would fly into from wherever we are um, flying from into um, Punta Cana. Punta Cana. Mm -hmm. Okay. On that day. And then we'll be leaving on the second. Okay. Yeah. If you, if you want to arrive earlier, <clears throat> because I understand the people on the West Coast, they have to travel six hours to New York and then three hours to the Dominican Republic. That's nine hours. It is very likely that you're going to be beat. If you want to arrive a day earlier, we can set that up too. That is a drop in the bucket, brother. When I went to the U.S. Virgin Islands Christian oh. State, it took me 25 hours. Wow. <laughs> so that's a drop in the bucket. Okay. Just wanted to let you know that it, okay. it's flexible. It's flexible. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. That. Jones. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to put my number on the chat so that if anybody has questions after that, they could text me. Text me is the best way to communicate, and I will be happy to answer your question. Uh, Sister Jennifer Hobbs. Jennifer Hobbs. Hi, Stalin. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Okay. I just have a question. I would love to go to this trip, but I'm not able. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I have a question about the um, videos you're going to be showing. Mm -hmm. You said you're going to do it on Sunday and Monday. Yes. Right? Yes. Do you have a calendar for us? Yes. Thank you for asking that, because if you don't ask me, I will forget to show it. <clears throat> I'm going to go to my virtual, okay. and I'm going to share with you the calendar. So right now, we are in the week of the 19th, right? Yesterday, I showed the tour about Noah, which I have to do it again, because uh, there was a mistake. The password was 202321, and it was only 2023. So a lot of people were left out, so I'm going to do it again. <clears throat> Next Sunday, we're going to have how the Apostle Paul, excuse me, how Paul became the Apostle to the Nations, part one. And then on Monday, I'm going to have uh, how Paul became the Apostle to the Nations, part two. All right. <clears throat> the first trip, the first trip, the first tour it's going to talk about the encounter that Paul had with Jesus. And the other part is going to talk about his missionary journey. Okay. Okay. That okay. is August. In September, we're going to have David from shepherd to king. We're going to be talking about the first book of Samuel. And we're going to be talking about the book of Psalm, which we are reading right now. And how David 
take center stage in there. And on Monday, and please notice that on Monday, September the 2nd, I'm going to be here at 10 p.m. because that's the beginning of the campaign. So I'm going to make sure I'm supporting the, the congregation. And we're going to talk about Esther, an orphan, a queen, and an empire. On the following week, I'm going to be doing back-to-back -back Exodus from the time of Abraham to the time of Moses. And the second part, from Moses to the 10th plague to the Exodus. And... <clears throat> I haven't put anything else to the middle of September, but I'm working. I'm working on the following tours. Let me just show you. Give me one second. <clears throat> now that the, the museums are running, okay. Now I'm going to go back to doing virtual tours. And these are the two tours that we're working on. And I'm going to ask you for your opinion. Are you guys ready? <clears throat> Give me one second. Okay, let me share my screen. I, I want your uh, your honest opinion. All right, it's either one, two, or three. This is like a a visit to the doctor, to the eye doctor, <laughs> when they ask you, which one do you like? The tour is about Nineveh, the great city. Do you like this cover, this cover, or this cover? The third one. Yeah. Third. The third one. The third one. The third one. Right, all right. That's the good. The third yeah. one. You yeah. know what this is? One. This is at the British Museum. Ah. We're gonna we're gonna spend the time there. Okay, that was one. The other one is the Ark of the Covenant. Do you like number one, number two, or number three? Number, number two. two. All two. right. Number three. Number three. I'm gonna I'm gonna number send three. you guys a, a survey <laughs> so that um you guys can can vote and let me know how you feel. I see a couple of hands. Uh, Blanca y Tony Alvarez. Good to see you. Hola. Hola. La, solamente, nada más, uh, que me quede claro en mi mente. Entonces, el viaje para allá, 1350, si vamos mi esposo y yo, serían, ¿cuánto? Por sí. el, los siete días. Serían 1,350 por 2. Serían 2,700. 2,700. Ok. Ese dato, y yo tengo que llegar en el avión ahí, ¿verdad? Exactamente. Te podemos ayudar con una hermana que compra los vuelos o tú puedes comprarlo en Expedia o como tú quieras. Muchas gracias. Será nada, todo. Nada. The question that she asks is, what's the total for two people? And the total for two people is 1350 multiplied by two. All right, that was Blanca. And Sylvia, you have another question or this is an all hand? No, yes, I do have another question. Satana, thank you. When will you repeat the Noah tour? And it will be a different version from the one that was yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, my memory is really, really bad. Yes. I, I'm going to be playing with artificial intelligence. When you use artificial intelligence and you tell it what you're looking for, it will draw what you ask it to draw. If it's clear in your head, it's going to do it. Let me give you an example. I'm working on a tour for Esther, right? Esther, Esther, where are you? I'm doing a tour for Esther. And, you know, we have very little pictures about Esther. 
you know the one. So with the little information that we have from the Bible, we are going to create the artwork for the tour. So take a look at this. This is right here. Take a take a look at take a look at this picture. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not exactly sure what she looked like. We just know that she has a Jewish background. But she was raised, or she uh, lived in a Persian, uh, in a Persian environment. So we're playing with different characters. This is where uh, the Jehovah's people became free. How Esther was brave enough. So we're using artificial intelligence to tell a story that we know of from the Bible, but if we describe it based on the time that most of the things took place, we will be able to tell an impressive uh, story about yeah. that. So let me show you. And you're saying you, that those are generated from AI? Those are generated from AI. Oh, that's fantastic. Isn't that something? Let yeah. me show you something else. And do you know the date that you will repeat the at the noah yeah i think i'm gonna do it september 15 september 15 take a look at this pictures right we, we don't know what noah looks like but when you tell artificial intelligence what someone according to the bible what they were doing it, it helps your imagination. We don't know if they have head, head coverings. Oh. But now we we can actually imagine a lot of things. And if you take the I, I love this this image because you have you have the daughters, you have the wife, you have the family, and they're probably singing or agreeing with what whatever Noah is saying. And there are people questioning, hey, what are you doing? This doesn't make sense. Well, they're, you know, making fun of them. But that is something that it it, it 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 you can read it in the Bible, you can use your imagination, and you could describe Noah praying to Jehovah, saying, Hey, I never built an ark before. How long is this gonna take? You know? It took 50 years to build the ark. Uh, how did they treat the, treat the animals? What, what were the sons of Noah thinking? I know they supported the private. What, what were they thinking? It's something to, to use our imagination. And I thought that that was something that the friends will enjoy. And it's something that nobody has seen before. Wow. These images are brand new. I'm asking a computer, no, I don't want this, I don't want that, I want this, I want that, do this, do that, do this, no, let's try it again, do this, do that, let's try again, 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 let's try again. So let me see what else I want to show you. But the most part is to, to tell a story, a story that most people know already so that's that's what i've been working lately to really take an old story like noah and and, and take it and give you guys a different the same story but now give you the visuals of what life may have been like using the artifacts that i'm finding at the museum and other places. So yeah, Let, let's say September the 15th uh, so that uh, the friends can enjoy, can enjoy. At eight, or, right? Yes, on Sundays at eight, yeah. I'm looking for pictures, but now I, can, I cannot find them. 
I cannot find him for the life of me. What is the number of the Zoom occupancy that it can hold? My room? Yes. Oh, uh, it can hold up to a thousand connections. Thank you. Not a problem. All right. Well, friends, I don't want to keep you longer because it's going to be what? It's, it's 11 o'clock in the East Coast. Thank you for staying with me this late. Uh, you guys have my phone number. My phone number is the Zoom ID, 914-469-8548. If you have any questions, feel free to text me, and I'll be more than happy to answer your question. Uh, Rosa. Yeah, um, Brother Stalin, um, I took a picture of the the two tours that you're going to show, but mm -hmm. it doesn't come out too clear on, on my phone. Would you be okay. able to send them or put them on Gmail for us? Yes. Okay. Make sure, make sure if you want to be part of the virtual tours and you are here because uh, you saw a Facebook ad or you're here because you saw an Instagram ad, uh, make sure that you put your email on the chat. That way I can add you to our mailing list and that way you can get our weekly email we send emails every week um uh -huh. about all of our tours okay okie dokie thank you thank you rose thank you everyone you have a good night get some rest because so, tomorrow okay. we'll do it all over again tomorrow have okay thank night. you Stella. All thank, right. thank, thank you Stella. Thank you for the right. videos and the information. Good night, thank family. You. Thank, thank you. you. Good night, Good night everybody. Love you all. Good Welcome night. to the Dominican oh. Republic. Good night, yes. Emily. Good yes. night, everyone.